he will go home. He's a free man now, but we need to tidy up the documentations in the court registry. <laughs> Under the Mazi TV, um, I bear out for to get uh, details, a uh, background of uh, the court proceeding that took place here today. Uh, but meanwhile, Mazi, may we meet you, sir? My name is Mazi Jude Ndwisi Mwakoro. Mwakoro is spelled N W A O R O K O R O. Mwa. Because most, most times, call Mwakoro. Um, the court proceedings today went fine because our record, His Majesty was arraigned on three count charge, bordering on uh, false uh, impersonation and uh, false uh, pretenses about his person. I says how. Uh, but uh, we all know that he's uh, already been crowned as a The court has granted him bail, relying on section 35.6 of the 1999 constitution as amended. Uh, we are perfecting his bail condition, and once that is done, he will go home. He's a free man now, but we need to tidy up the documentations in the court registry. That's why you see people moving up and down. So in the next few minutes, he will be on his way home to Arujuku to continue from where he stopped as of Friday to oversee the affairs of Arujuku Kingdom. Thank you. The, did the state government mention, say why they consider his broadcast as not been, as being illegal to the state? Uh, is there, it's containing the charge. That is uh, likely to cause the breakdown of law and order in our kingdom. Uh, well, that broadcast was made on the first, and the petition, the evidence, the complaint was brought up on the third of January. And uh, as you know, His Majesty was bundled out of the palace on the. Fifth, and has not gone back to Arujuku since then, where he was incarcerated uh, in the uh, state CID Umaya, Abbey State. Uh, since Friday. Yes, he has been there. He has been uh, in custody of the police. Okay, sir. Um, we, uh, we would like to know uh, while he was uh, at, the uh, at the police custody, was there any unfair treatment to him or stuff, stuff like that? Was he treated well? Uh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to say anything on that because that custody problem is a matter a subject is now. Okay. So um, as a legal practitioner, what message do you have to tell Omaro out there who are watching concerning um, this case generally? Um, there is still hope in the, for democracy. And the rule of law. He emerged through a due process which the court will want to hear. This uh, arraignment today puts to pay uh, this constant harassment and petitions and disturbances, threats, because everybody who has any grounds now can come to court and uh, give his evidence. This court also sets aside uh, all committees constructively. All committees have been um, put on hold. Because the court cannot be hearing this matter and the committees will be sitting. Any publication that is offensive now, the person will be brought to this court with respect to this matter. Any further publication, any further chat, any further threat on uh, social media, uh, the person will be asked to come and answer the reason for doing that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, as, uh, uh, um, as Umaru, uh, 
at home, I believe they must have heard of uh, His Majesty's uh, release and uh, his homecoming. Uh, will it also be um, illegal for them to welcome him when he comes? No, 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 no. I would say he's been away for five days. And uh, his uh, personal assistant, uh, Dr. Agode Kano, has uh, put up a press release. So, uh, so in the next few minutes, he'll be on his way home. I can see there is a car waiting to take him home. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs>